steel rods are manufactured with a mean length of twenty one centimeters because of variability in the manufacturing process the lengths of the rods are approximately normally distributed with a standard deviation of point zero five centimeters so that means that if we want to draw our model there's our normal curve where x represents the length of a randomly selected rod the mean is going to be 21 and then we're going to have inflection points here and here what would this value be well this one would be 20.95 0 0.05 standard deviation I'm sorry, 0 0.05 below the mean, right? One standard deviation below the mean. And then this value is going to be 21.05, one standard deviation above the mean. So we want to know the proportion of steel rods less than 20.9. And so if I label 20.9 on my model, the proportion left would be represented by this area. So if we agree that we're going to use stat crunch to find that area, stat calculators, and we want the normal calculator. Our mean was what? 21 and our standard deviation. 0, 0.05 and we want the area left of 20.9 click compute and there's our result Let me grab this copy it and drop it in here and so our answer right there would be what do we get 0 0.0228. Okay. 0 0.0228. Fantastic. Are any rods shorter? Oh, any rods shorter than 20.88 or longer than 21.12? Now, when we draw a picture of this scenario, I want you to observe something that's kind of interesting. There's our normal model, mean at 21, 20.88, I'll just generically throw in there. Let's say it's right around there. So that would be the number of rod, proportion of rods shorter than 20.88, right? And over here is what? 21.12. Do you notice that the 20.88 is exactly 0.12 units below the mean. See that? And the 21.12 is 0.12 units above the mean. And so because of the symmetry under the normal curve, what can we say about this area in relation to that area? They're going to be the same area. So rather than spending time finding this area and then separately finding this area, what we could do to be efficient is simply find this area and then add it to itself or double the value. Okay, so that's what we'll do. That's more of an issue when you're doing this by hand than it is if you're using something like StatCrunch because 20.88, right, and a less than we get an area of 0.0082. You see that? No, and you're going to do this online. Now, if I to verify that what I said is accurate, if I type in 21.12, I get the same value, 0 0.0082. And so the area right there is going to be two times that point oh oh eight two and so we get what 
0.0164. Using the results of Part B, if 5,000 rods are manufactured in a day, how many should the plant manager expect to discard? So now we sort of have a binomial situation going on because either we're going to get a success, meaning we don't, meaning we discard, or we get a failure, meaning we don't discard. Okay, success is finding a, a rod that we're going to discard, meaning finding a rod whose length is shorter than 20.88 centimeters or longer than 21.1 centimeters. Now the probability of finding a rod that gets discarded is what? Yeah. Well, the, the probability of getting a discarded rod is 0 0.0164, and so the expected number of rods to be discarded is going to be... Yeah, we're going to use the formula for the mean, because the mean of a random variable x is the same as its expected value, right? And here, since it's a binomial, the expected value is n times p. And so we have 5,000 rods times 0 0.0164, and that's going to give us on the nose 82? Really? Nice. Well done. And lastly, if an order comes in for 10,000 steel rods, how many should the plant manager expect to manufacture if the order states that all rods be must be between 20.9 and 21.1 centimeters? Well, first off, we got to figure out the proportion that would be discarded. Okay? And so, if we go back to part A, the proportion of rods less than 20.9 centimeters is 0 0.0228. Right? So, what do you think the proportion of rods greater than 20.1 centimeters would be? If I draw a picture of this scenario, there's 21, right? 20.9 we know is right there, something like that, right? And we get the area of 0 0.0228. 20.1 is over here, or 21.1 is over here. It's 0.1 units above the mean. This is 0.1 units below, so what do you think that area is? Also 0 0.0228 because of symmetry, because of symmetry. So what proportion of rods do I expect to discard? I expect to discard any less than 20.9, and I'm going to discard any that are greater than 21.1. So the proportion that are going to be discarded is yeah, 0 0.0456 is proportion discarded. Just add up these two proportions. Okay? Now, that's how many I'm going to get rid of. How many am I going to keep? Or what proportion am I going to keep, I should say? One minus that. So 0 0.9546. Is that right? And so that's the proportion. I didn't write 54. Alright. 9544, making sure you're paying attention. That's the proportion kept, right? Now, overall, how many do I want to be able to deliver? 
According to the problem, how many steel rods do I want to be able to deliver? 10,000. So I want to manufacture a certain amount of rods so that the expected number of rods I'll be able to keep is 10,000. So it's a little different than up here, but we use the same formula that the expected value of x is n times p. But in this problem, I want my expected number of rods kept to be 10,000. I don't know how many I need to manufacture, but I know the proportion that I'm going to keep is 0.9544. So to get n, I just compute 10,000 divided by 0.9544, and that gives me, say that again, 10478. 10478 on the nose? No, rounded. Rounded which? Okay. Round up? Okay. So we're going we're gonna to manufacture 10,478. We expect that we'll have to discard 478 so that we'll ultimately be able to deliver 10,000 steel rocks. So let's see if that pans out according to the program. 10,478. Excellent.